So this happened on social media this past week. Google kicked off the first Sunday of the NFL season with an animated Google Doodle on its homepage. The page got so many hits it had to be replaced by the backup G. So bing bingo. Thank you very much. RG3 stunned everyone when he was named first string safety on the scout team. And Wes Welker dropped this hilarious tweet. This is what Monday nights look like these days. Nice hands, Wes. We've always said you're the Danny Amendola of Julian Edelman. I call him Amendola. I call him Amendola. The NFL trend zone starts right after this awkward flying shoulder bump. Oh! oh that hurts. Ow. Uh, all right. Go on the pup list. Welcome to the NFL Trend Zone, America's number one source of the NFL's biggest wins and losses in social media. I'm Jason Sklar. And I'm Randy Sklar. And together we are at Sklar Brothers, and we are here until we win big playing FanDuel. Yes, because snagging a hundred grand from Wiz Khalifa is pretty easy. Just ask his ex-girlfriend, Amber Rose. Or it was his ex-wife. Ex-wife, Amber Rose. First it was his girlfriend. I bumped her down. You, you bumped did. her up. Right, now lace up your customized cleats. It's time to get social. After defeating the Steelers on opening night, Tom Brady spent Sunday kicking back and posting this on his personal Facebook page. See, the Super Bowl QBs are just like us. They put on their hideous old man slippers one foot at a time. Yikes, those things put the ug back in ugly. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Big Ben Roethlisberger posted this photo of his feet. And then Rex Ryan quickly put both of those photos up on his desk next to his wife's feet. I just think it's great that the man loves his wife. He why, really loves why his wife. Why, why is that such a big deal? Why are you so against you? that? He loves because his wife. Guys. In premature celebration news, Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson posted this overly confident tweet before kickoff on Sunday. One and out. Whoops. Then moments after the Rams stunned the Super Bowl runners up, the Rams official Twitter page did some danger Russ trolling. Russell, you should have learned from the Super Bowl. Never count your wins before you throw them away. And if I'm Russell Wilson, I'm tweeting back at the Rams a photo of a U-Haul with the caption, see you guys next year in L.A. Boom! Oh, snap! Inspired by the Packers, a Browns super fan wants to give the fans ownership of the franchise by launching Billion Dollar Browns on the popular crowdfunding site GoFundMe. Million Dollar Browns, that seems a little too cocky to it's Very cocky. Even Million Dollar Browns is pushing, pushing it in my book. It. Yeah, and I just hope the Browns can raise enough money so that Johnny Football's dream of becoming a successful NFL quarterback someday can become a reality. On Sunday, the NFL Network posted this Instagram. You know what they say about men with big feet pajamas, Rand? Nothing, because they're legends and they work in the building next to us. Forbes released its list of the most valuable teams in the NFL. Surprise! The Cowboys landed in the top spot with an estimated worth of $4 billion. Doesn't really matter because, as we all know, Cowboys can't be bought. Well, most Cowboys. I hear Des Bryant is looking for a commercial agent for the next six to eight weeks. <laughs> you can find NFL players and former players all over social media, from Facebook to Snapchat, Instagram to LinkedIn to Christian Okoye Mingle. This is two-time Super Bowl champion Ike Taylor's LinkedIn profile. It's not clear what kind of job he's seeking, but it looks like he's qualified to drive carpool. Yeah, if you thought your Uber driver was terrifying, wait till this face pops up in your Uber app. Oh, wait. I got Geno Smith in route, too. Ooh, that's a tough one. What do that's I do awesome. here? What do I do? Well, Geno Smith, you know, his mouth is wired shut because yes. his jaw is broken. So he's not so going to talk that much. Ike Taylor can't shut up, so it really depends on what you want yeah. there in that instance. I'm probably just going to walk. Or you could go ride or, with Ike or Taylor, look who's, who's right here. here. Yes. What's happening, bud? I would love to ride. I love the LinkedIn profile. That page is great. Like, Did you do that yourself? So clean. You know what? You'll probably tell me all about it on the drive. I'm going to ride to talk. Yeah. We love it. We love all. Thank you. And finally, just when we thought we put Deflategate behind us, the most prominent voice in sports broadcasting weighed in and the internet exploded. Oh, Miss America, you make Gronk sound like Bill Gates. The galleys aside, did Tom Brady cheat? Did he cheat? Um, that's a really good question. I'm not sure. I think I'd have to be there to see the ball and uh, feel it and make sure it was deflated or not deflated. But um, if there was question there, then yes, I think he cheated. If there was I just hope Tom Brady wasn't watching that in his Uggs. I really do, because that would have been awful for You know, him. when she finds out that a microphone actually amplifies her voice so she doesn't have to yell, she's going to be embarrassed. Somewhere Ben Affleck just told himself that he can change her mind about that. You hear that, Nanny? You're next! You're going to be a god. You're going to be gone! Yeah! Get her out of here. All right, now don't forget to follow at NFL Now. If you want more of the Trend Zone, go to NFL.com slash now for exclusive content, outtakes, and Miss America's ruling on the Des Bryant playoff catch. I think that he definitely cheated. For Randy, you. I am Jason. For Jay, I'm Randy. We'll see you next week deep in the Trend Zone. I can't wait to see what she has to say about lowering the Fed.